Now, I don't know if, if you guys do this when I take notes and when I study the Bible, I like to actually read the introduction. I know a lot of people skip over that. Um, so I'm actually going to read a little bit of the introduction. I'm going to, I got my book here. I'm going to take some notes. Um, and we're going to study and understand what Paul was saying to the church in Rome. And when you read the introduction, it gives you a basis of what the author is trying to say or what, you know, what he's trying to convey, what it gives you, to me, I feel like it gives you a better outline because we're not there, right? We're not, we we have no um, idea why, you know, the book was written. Um, we know, uh, it gives you a, a sense of understanding and make you more one with the author. So that's why I like reading the introduction. I like reading some of the timeline that transpire. I like to look up some of the, um, the locations just so I can have a more and better picture of what the pastor is trying to say. Now, I'm not saying you have to do this, but this is something that, you know, I recommend. 